Hey guys, in the last video we edited some JavaScript to make this click to upload way more interactive. Now I'm not really going to go through the JavaScript because it's something that you should already know if you're watching these videos, but I'm just going to go through some of the tricky parts of the JavaScript. The photo preview and all these classes are pretty straightforward such that if you go to your inspector and you inspect element, you should see a photo preview and you can see that if you upload a photo or choose a photo then you'd have some more options like delete photo class and that all maps to these nice little classes in your in your JavaScript file. Now we have another interactive part in this form and that is this countries. So if you change the countries form to Canada then you can see that the respective region would would give the respective provinces for that country. Similarly, if you change it to the United States, then it will give you all the states of the United States. That is not something that comes with Ruby. That is actually part of this JavaScript code that, that you've copied and pasted from the last episode. So pretty much um, this little attribute here is not, it wouldn't be something that you would create directly. Uh, you would the org person or contacts attributes and the type region ID would come from you but the zero is something that is generated from from you could say rails when you when you write out the code the association between your your org person or contacts model and the type regions model so that whenever whenever you let's say whenever your country changes then what it wants to return is the correct regions. So that's a little bit about the interactive elements of our form page. Now in today's video, what I really want to do before we cut this video short is actually to write up your update function. So I want you to go over to your org people controller and I want you to put in private. Now what private is, is it's everything below private are pretty much functions that nobody else can access except for what's in this class. So everything in this everything in this class or people controller are the only guys that can access this these private functions. So if you want to define update person params and we put and and what I want to define here are several parameters similar to what we did before. These parameters are what we allow for people to to submit. So you can see that for up, update pe person params, we would require that this model has the uh, or contacts attributes. So their addresses, their cities, their their countries, their regions, and and their avatar. So these are the only uh, fields that they, that we allow them to submit. So if you go back to here and we look at all these fields, these are all fields that directly map to the org context attributes. So by defining update update person params, we tell the we tell Rails that okay, we are expecting these attributes. So I just want you to put that there for now. Uh, in the next video we would work on this update function. So I just want to end this video by defining an update function. It's going to be rather long, so I'm not going to go through this video, but just look forward to the next video to, for that episode. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode to learn about how to update your, update your contact information. See you guys later.